What's going on everybody? This is Gary from Dixie Overland. Talk about an interesting Saturday. Yeah, so uh, last night, get the phone call that uh, my youngest's truck uh, blew its engine. And as you can probably see in the back here, it's a 2000 Ford F-150 uh, V6. So 4.2 liter motor. So anyway, the engine is absolutely toast. He threw a rod and there's a hole in the oil pan. There is God knows whatever else damage. There's oil everywhere. So we had to go recover the uh, F-150 with uh, the Gladiator. So we are testing the full capabilities of this Max tow package. <laughs> this truck weighs almost 4,000 pounds uh, curb weight. And so the trailer I have it on, you know, probably puts that number, you know, up toward about a thousand more, you know, 1,500 more or so. And so, uh, you know, with the max tow, I think you can tow 80, uh, 7,800 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, close to eight, I always say it's close to 8,000, so it's somewhere around that, that range. So anyway, that's kind of where, um, where we're at uh, on this Saturday morning, and it is hot. I mean, it's 90 degrees, there's probably about 50, 60% humidity, so it feels like it's about 100 degrees outside. And uh, so anyway, so it's a full recovery operation happening this morning, and it just is what it is. I mean, sometimes these things happen. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. Has this happened to you? You know, as part of being a parent, you know, you uh, get a vehicle for your kid, and you know, it just decides to one day just crap the bed, uh, you know, just kind of randomly. I don't think it's his fault. I just think it's one of those circumstances that happens. You know, it's just mechanical failure. Uh, he said that the header, was glowing red hot uh, whenever he pulled over. So my thought is something's jammed up in the exhaust or maybe the catalytic converter is so clogged that it just can't you know, get rid of the exhaust fast enough to where it dissipates the heat. And so then that heat translates over into the head and it translates over to where the cylinders are, the valves, pistons, etc. So, I mean, you know, it just is what it is. That's, that's just how it goes. So we're gonna be looking at getting him a new truck as soon as we get this one. Uh, offloaded and we'll sort of figure it out from there. I'll tell you, I, not exactly what I thought I'd be doing on my Saturday. I've still got a couple of vehicles that are in the driveway that are uh, in need of uh, complete fixing. I've almost got one of the Jeeps up and ready to sell. The 99 TJ is, I mean, right there, right there ready to sell. Um, I'll tell you what, there's quite a bit of bounce. If you see the screen shaking, I'm in the, I'm in the, obviously got my camera mounted and I'm talking to it, but going over some of these bumps, there is a decent bit of bounce in these rear springs. So, I mean, you know, tow with caution, you know, go take it slow, do all that. I'm really probably pushing, you know, creeping toward the max of where this thing should be. So, you know, I've got a little bit of wiggle going on, a little bit of, we got the, the weight of the, the, the front end on the tongue. So, you know, we should be all right, but it's just doing things. Anyway, so, well, I'm going to try to get back uh, as safe and sound as we can. Probably about another 10 more miles to go with this in tow. So, uh, anyway, I'll hit you up later. Just wanted to provide an update on what's going on today on Saturday. It's Gary, Dixie Overland. See you all down the road.